prenatal diagnosis of craniosynostosis using ultrasound. Craniosynostosis is a condition affecting 1 in 2,500 babies. It's where the bones of the skull fuse prematurely, and this prevents normal skull growth. Different forms of craniosynostosis give rise to characteristic head shapes. The treatment of craniosynostosis is surgery, usually during the first year of life. Although the specific timing and techniques of surgery do vary, it's considered to be complex surgery, requiring careful planning and input from a coordinated multidisciplinary team. Craniosynostosis is usually diagnosed after the baby is born, and prenatal diagnosis is appealing, as this would allow for improved parental counselling, as well as better treatment planning, both in terms of delivery of the child and for surgery. In most countries, ultrasound scanning is a routine part of antenatal care, and a number of congenital conditions are diagnosed using the ultrasound, such as cleft lip, for example. This study from the team at Harvard University looked at ultrasound scans that had been done at around 26 weeks in 22 babies born with craniosynostosis and 22 babies who did not have craniosynostosis. Using computerized shape analysis, they were able to correctly diagnose craniosynostosis in 18 of the 22 children who had craniosynostosis and accurately rule out craniosynostosis in 19 of the 22 children who did not. So while not yet applicable as a general screening tool, ultrasound scanning has been shown to be a feasible way to diagnose craniosynostosis prenatally with improvements in the algorithm and in the shape analysis, as well as refinements in the technology such as the use of 3D ultrasound scanning. It may be possible to develop a routine screening tool for craniosynostosis in the future.